Howdy. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to Pillow Talk with Dr. Boyce and Dr. Alicia Watkins. My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins, and I'm here with my lovely wife, Dr. Alicia. Uh, how are you doing today, babe? I'm doing okay, but I, I, you know I prefer pillow talks when we're actually like in the bed on our pillows. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's when we usually do it. And um, and uh, today we decided to do something a little bit different. You know, we're actually going to go uh, just jump on camera and, and handle this. And uh, and so in case you don't know, Pillow Talk is where my wife and I get together and our goal is to elevate, help us have elevated conversations about things happening in our community. Uh, I'm a finance professor. My wife is a professor of social work and a licensed therapist. And so um, so today's topic actually has to do with uh, the one and only Will Smith. Now, Will Smith is a guy who is doing quite well right now. Um, I would say he's a bona fide movie star. Uh, he is out here just kicking butt, taking names. Uh, his new movie, Bad Boys 4, was uh, just a massive mega financial hit. I mean, just absolutely killed it. And uh, and I thought Will would just be a fun topic because there was um, a, a video you had sent to me where Will was talking about money. And you and I are both big on money. And we created the first ever black financial therapy department in the black business school. And uh, and he really seemed to have a really interesting relationship with money that I thought was worth exploring. Now, before I begin the discussion, I want to ask everybody in the chat, can you give me a quick yes if you can hear me? Let me know if the audio is coming through okay. Give me a yes if you can hear me okay, if I'm coming through good and uh, sounding good and it's all making sense to you, because uh, I want to make sure that we are hearing each other. And also, um, so, so babe, what I want to do is kind of just hop in. And first off, just going to ask you in terms of an overview, how do you feel about Will's success? I, I ain't gonna lie, I was really happy for him you know, to see his movie do so well, particularly everything he's kind of been dealing with. Uh, what are your thoughts? Oh my God. You Well, you know, I've always been a Will Smith fan, even though his personal life and I think his issues with the Oscars, <laughs> you know, the big slap at the Oscars um, had a lot of controversy. I've always stood by his side. I'm one of those black women that be standing beside the black man, no matter what. <laughs> so I was one of those. I'm always rooting for him. And I think it's just because he's so likable. There's something mm. about him that's just likable, even though he got upset and defended his wife. And now we now understand some of the issues that those two were having in their marriage. It all makes sense to us. And no matter what happens, it's like he just comes out on top. And so, you know, I'm very thrilled uh, that this new movie has actually um, been received very positively by the audiences. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy too. Like, I feel like Will is, is a guy that's just, you know, gone through so much, uh, you know, and, and I mean, it's really amazing given just the beating, you know, his reputation kind of kind of took from so many people. And, and, and what what's really interesting is that, you know, when you go back and you kind of look at what happened since the slap, you know, it's uh, it's almost like the like Hollywood when you do something that's kind of out of line, they kind of expect to be able to punish you, blackball you, eliminate you. And it's almost like he's he's not cancelable. Like, it's almost like no matter how much anybody might have tried to, to take this guy off the map, at least at this stage in his career, they just can't do it. You know, uh, I, I, and I, I don't know. I mean, he, he because if you saw how he promoted this movie, he was super charismatic. He was really energetic. I, I follow Will on Instagram. I love the way he was using his his big Instagram platform to really, really engage the audience in ways that I thought was just really um, powerful. And uh, and as a result, this movie made over $100 million in the first weekend. And I don't think this movie would have done so well had it not been for him doing his thing the way he does it. And really only he does it this way. What do you think? Yeah, he has this, he exudes this energy that's infectious. It's like, you you know, he, remember he did the cameo at his own premiere. He dressed up and sat in the audience. I think that's, that's what he talked about doing. He sat in his audience and then he came out and recorded people's reaction to his presence in the movie theater of the opening of his film. And then he put it, put that on social media. So if you look at his, 
Instagram page and everything he puts out, it's so positive. And I, if anything, that's the wonderful way. First of all, it's a wonderful way to deal with mental health issues is to remain positive. <laughs> that's a great way uh, to protect your mental well-being is, um, is that. And then we see it in him. It's the, the contagiousness of his, you know, his energy. It, it lets us bounce back from some of the ups and downs in his past. And if anything, you know, having marital issues, that's relatable. <laughs> if anything, people can relate to that. And, you know, I don't know. He just, he's, um, you talk about the power of positivity and having a positive mindset. That's something that I think Will Smith must study. He must study because he's definitely is working. It is definitely working. And his loyalty. Wasn't it great to see how loyal he was to Martin Lawrence? You know, it was just like no matter what those interviews that he would have with Martin Lawrence. And I think Martin Lawrence was kind of struggling a little bit, but he jumped in and really made his co-star look better. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I felt like... Um... Anybody, you know, even Stevie Wonder could see that Martin Lawrence is struggling, that there was something yeah. going on. And um, and I don't know what it is. I mean, there was talk about strokes and all this stuff. Um, and uh, in fact, I, I was so concerned. I, I, I really am convinced that the next that there's going to be a bad boys five. It may be in another 10 or 15 years. And what's going to happen is definitely the Martin Lawrence character is going to be played by A.I., uh, that's what they're doing right now in Hollywood. They are literally taking actors and scanning their faces and their bodies so they can use them in perpetuity. And so I, I, my prediction is that you're going to see a wave of movies involving people that have been gone for a long time. Like you might have a movie with Michael Jackson, Elvis, Frank Sinatra, you know, and Tom Cruise, you know, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Uh, that's, you know, well, we, we won't, a lot of us won't be around then. But still, though, I, I just I think that's the, the prediction. I, I don't think Martin has another big movie in him. But you're right. Will kind of held it down and just carry that on, took it on his back. Yeah. And it made us love him even more. Like there's something like really authentic about Will Smith when you see his interviews and you see him on screen. And, and I think that authenticity for the audience, it makes us like him more. And it also makes us trust him because a good key indicator of trustworthiness is when someone comes across as authentic, like a sense that they're being, he's being himself. And um, I don't know. I just think that that's just, you know, it's just great to see that the Will Smith is still here. <laughs> the one we love, the version of him that we love in movies is still around. And I think that's wonderful. Don't you think so, boys? Where are you? 